What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Offered Outlaws. And today, as you can tell, I'm going to show you guys how to slam the beetle. And uh, uh, I just wanted to see how many horsies it's got first before we uh, show you guys the tune. It's got 705 horsepower, 1100 torque. All right, not too bad, not too bad indeed. Now, currently, it is uh, on the verge of being a drag build. As well as being, you know, obviously a slammed ass fucking beetle. Uh, but for now, because I, I gotta do a lot more tuning to this, to the gears for this to be a drag build, and you know, I gotta do a lot of testing on it, make it perfect. Uh, for now, it's just a how do you slam the beetle build, or how do you slam the beetle. And wheel width in the front is 1.1, wheel radius is 0.9, rim size is 1.5. For the rear, rim size is also 1.5 with a 0.9 wheel radius and a 1.5 wheel width. That way it gets a nice little drag. Look, I am going to change the tires out as well. It's not keeping these tires. Uh, anyways, for gears, uh, if you guys care about my gears, I don't even know how well these are going to do. I literally just put these on the car. And I have not tested, so use at your own will on these ones. You know, first gears 2-2. Two, two. Second gear is 1, 2, third gear is 0. 0.8, fourth gear is 0. 0.5, and fifth gear is 0. 0.4, with a low gear 3.0. Now for the best part. The part that everybody wants. Axle width. <laughs> Axle width is all the way up. That way it gets a nice little wide stance there. Damping is as at 72 hundred shocks. I left the same shock size. I am going to bring those up a little bit just a little bit up to about 1.5 uh, stiffness is at 1500 270 and the travel is all the way down so this has pretty much no movement in the suspension at all and then for the rear as well the axle offset I did bring it back all the way but we're gonna bring it back and it tightens it tightens a bit back to 0.3 for the axle offset, axle width is all the way out. Damping is at 73 at 99. Shocks is, are the same. Shock size, I'll bring it up just a tiny bit to 1.3. Stiffness is at 15, or yeah, literally 15 at 71. That way the back end drops a little tiny bit more. And then travel as well is all the way down. That is how you slam the beetle and keep decent sized tires on it. Uh, you could make your tires a little bit bigger. I'll show you guys. Uh, just because I know exactly where my tires are. Yeah, you can go a little bit bigger on the rim size up to about 1.0. And then drop your stiffness back down a tiny bit more to drop it back to the ground entirely if you want. I mean, you can get a little bit bigger rim sizes. You just have to account for that in your stiffness. Uh, if you guys do go with a bigger rim size. Here we go, right at point nine, and now we can go test this little thing, guys. We can go test it. Dana, 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 dana. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that that could have been more dramatic. I I just didn't make it more dramatic. But look at this thing. Look at this sexy ass bitch. Oh, that's a sexy bitch. It shall slammed and shit. Fucking airbagged. Yeah, buddy. Lost fucking gear. <laughs> uh, I think it looks pretty cool slammed, honestly. And this is like apparently like the hottest build. Like, for the beetle. Everybody's slamming their beetles these days. So I figured I might as well do the video, guys. And uh, show everybody the tune to make it slammed. At least my tune to make it slammed. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I am trying to turn this into a drag beetle, so, uh, what better thing to do than show you guys what the gears currently do, the ones that I showed you guys. And, uh, we are in rear-wheel drive at the moment. I have not even thrown all-wheel drive on at all. You don't need to turn like that. Turning sucks. Uh, when you're trying to drag race. Fourth and fifth gear, I could pull those in a little bit. Alright, they're a little slow there on the end. Uh first few gears are great though yeah as soon as you hit fourth gear it's a little sluggish actually 
Yeah, no, I need to pull uh, low gear way back more since so longer, longer years. As you guys can tell, so far it drives. Let's go, let's go you change. All right, guys, jumping back to the chopping block here. For those of you guys still watching that give a fuck. <laughs> All right, so we'll pull fourth gear in a tiny bit to point six, and fifth gear to point five. Now for low gear, we're gonna pull it way back down. We'll do this at about point eight. I think will be good. Point eight should be good for that. I think. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah, you guys are all in agreement with me. Okay, good. <laughs> all right. Let's go change up the tire. Oop, wrong thing. This, obviously, everything's already, uh, maxed out in this biatch. And we are running a diesel, if you guys didn't know. I am running a diesel bug. Why? Because diesel beetles are awesome! Alright, so I do need to change up my tires, uh, for both front and rear. Change these back to stock. Look at me! I'm Tomcat! I do retarded things to the beetle and make it look retarded. This is what we do. We make duly beetles for retardedness. <laughs> That's such a fucking idiotic thing to do. I, I like wasted the gold just for that joke, guys. I hope you guys laughed at it. I hope you guys laughed at my joke. I thought it was funny. My name's just me. Nobody cares. <laughs> oh, alright. So, we'll <laughs> let's go change the color of this thing real quick. And, uh, get back to fucking around with it. Definitely doing a purple beetle. Yeah. Go with glossy paint. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys. Let's get back out to the stunt park and go fuck around with it a little bit more. You know, the only bad thing about, like, having a slammed beetle is the fact that your motor is constantly dragging at this level. Yeah. We're dragging our motor on the ground. We ain't got no exhaust pipes left. Woohoo. It is kind of funny that the, uh, <laughs> the rear shock also doesn't quite fit properly onto it. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I should, uh, not low gear and not diff slot. There we go. All wheel drive. <laughs> I'm just a weed whacker, don't mind me. better game now is it than the game all right 172 is not bad for the wheel size I mean we have basically damn near stock sized wheels so I don't even feel bad that it only goes 170 and it's not too bad at all um, I need to pull low gear out more to make it to Good little acceleration gear because the top's out at 100. Um, although, the greatest way to launch vehicles when it comes to drag race, I mean, you still have to be quick with your fucking shifts, but. Oh, wrong one. No, I meant that one. Yeah, see, you gotta be quick with shifts because then you can swap it all the way up to fifth. 
throw it into high, drop it into fourth, and then you'd get like way better acceleration on launch. And going forward, you'd get like a lot more acceleration. It's just all in the, you know, the movement of fingers. How quickly can you throw it around? You know, and for being a slammed ass fucking beetle, dude, this thing fucking handles, man. I, it actually handles pretty well for being a slammed beetle. And a semi drag, too. I think I'm gonna leave the gears as they are right now. And they're, like, other than low gear. Low gear, I am going to tune that a little bit more. Try and uh, turn that into the drag gear, basically. See if I can get low gear to go like 190 or something like that. We'll, we'll figure some stuff out. I'll definitely do a lot more tweaking of this later on. For sure, for sure. <laughs> that flip though. <laughs> that flip though. <laughs> I always forget that that thing does not sit level on the ground. Not properly, anyways. Oh, it's always, always enjoy doing that. Wee hoo! Oh yeah, yeah. I definitely think this is probably one of the best slammed vehicles to have on this game. Honestly, like it just handles so well being slammed to the ground. Not like other vehicles, honestly. Other vehicles they feel sluggish being slammed to the ground. Like, I mean, this one, you can obviously tell, like, you can feel that it's slammed to the ground, but, like, it also kind of feels like it's lifted a little bit off the ground instead of scraping like it is. So that's pretty awesome, honestly. That's pretty awesome indeed. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the build. Hopefully, if you didn't know already how to slam your beetle, that now you guys do know how to do it. And you got a little bit of a drag tune there on your beetle as well. So thank you all for coming out and watching the video, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. What the? Wait a minute. How am I zooming? That's weird. You guys notice this, right? That's weird. Okay. Alright, well, hopefully, yeah, see you guys later.